Yeah, isn't it good to be on the grass at Mochikarara on a Sunday afternoon? Really looking forward to their fields. They've got strong fields. Bigger numbers again. I'm going to highlight three runners for you to get involved in. Really like one in race number four. It's got no form. Its names are times are changing. Let's go back to this venue last start. The horse that's in the green colours, one from the outside, really makes good ground here. It made up a lot of ground. Uh, prior to that, it ran fifth in a hot field behind Better Talk Art at Ashburton. This is a quite strong field. Hugo Boss is in this field, of course, is taken out by Serious Moonlight. I just like the last 150 metres. They didn't come from back in the field at Mott uh, this day, but this one made up really good ground. And I know it's won the second row. It'll have to get its uh, way through the field, but it'll be a nice each way bet. Main danger is Judgment Bay. Runner number 15, it's on debut. was very good at the trials the other day, but it's also drawn awkwardly in race number four. Later in the programme, race number eight, uh, this one's a nice bet because it's a horse that loves the grass. Its name is Mad Lou Lee. And let's go back to this venue again two starts ago. The horse in the blue colours getting to the outside, one from the outside. Uh, Katie Cox aboard. In fact, it's Sheree Tomlinson, Katie Cox's colours. This was a junior driver's race. Really motored home to win this. Uh, it was quite good. Beat Deja Blue. Square Dealer was in this field. It was quite a hot field. Really nice performance. After this it went to Geraldine. Drew the outside of the second row. Never got put in the race uh, on a day that was hard to make ground. But she does love the grass track. She's won two out of the nine. Placed five other occasions. And she's got a great... Uh, in fact, she's got great grass track statistics on this track as well. So I thought Mad Lou Lee, very hard to beat in race number eight at a nice each way bet. Now later in the program, going around in race number nine, is a horse that I thought would be very hard to beat in the Akaroa Cup. Its name is Gilligan's Island because it's coming out of a Geraldine Cup that's a lot stronger. Let's uh, bring them home from the 400 metre mark. The horse that's in front is DiCaprio. Uh, the eventual will winner, William Wallace, ducks to the inside. The horse that we're highlighting is in the court colours, back in the field, lying about six at the spot. Ends up getting up to run third in what was a far, far stronger field. Uh, it's got good form on the grass. It's won a couple of times. Uh, Blair Orange Country's leading driver gets back on board. It just ticks the boxes. Race 9, number 13, Gilligan's Island. I reckon get it over the top of them. Main dangers, Copperhead Rose goes good off the grass. Rock and Roll Rod is coming out of Cup Week, but this one was mighty impressive running third last start. Let's have a look at the three highlighted for you for the Akaroa meeting on Sunday. The each way bets race 5, 10. Times are changing each way from the second row. The best bets race 8, number 6, Mad Lee with that grass track form. And the drop back horse out of the Geraldine Cup is 13, Gilligan's Island.